dinner, I hope. Why don't you sit down and relax? Eight hours you've been crying about being tired. Not my feet. That truck don't make my feet tired. You know what this layout reminds me of? This palace and this big room, those two doors. A story I once read. This place had two doors. And the Raja gave a guy a choice. Behind one door was a beautiful girl. Behind the other was a tiger. I read the story. If he went through one door, he got the beautiful dish for his wife. If he went through the other, the tiger got him for supper. Diane. Gentlemen, I'm sorry to let you stand waiting so long. I was dressed. I'm Tim Kelly, Your Highness. This is my partner, Tubo Smith. Your Highness. How do you do? <laughs> Your story about the two doors is one of my favorites, too. Only I'm afraid even if you had opened the right door, I couldn't have let you have Lady Diane. You see, she's my wife. <laughs> my dear, this is Mr. Tim Kelly, Mr. Smith. You should have uh, made them welcome. I'm sorry. I really didn't know you had arrived. I... Well, dinner will be at eight. I'll see about it. Diane. She is the last of Raj Mahal's precious gems, gentlemen. What she really means is that she will cook most of the dinner herself. We have very few servants left these days. Perhaps you'd rather wash up and rest before we discuss why you're here, if you wait till after dinner. I'll rest better after I know. Very well. This was once the most beautiful room in the most beautiful palace in Bengal. On the walls were priceless tapestries, paintings, objects of art. Did you notice the city as you came through? The city? My palace is in the very center of Raj Mahal, once the capital city of Bengal. Well, I uh, guess we were looking the other way, Your Highness. You wouldn't have seen it. It's long since been reclaimed by the jungle. Only the ruins are left. Though it's not in much worse shape than my palace. <laughs> oh, it's a long story. Suffice to say, bad years for my people, much sickness. In past years, I've been living on the saleable art objects left me by my father. Well, I don't know much about art, Your Highness. No, your job isn't dependent on any uh, actual knowledge of it. What I need is someone about me whom I can trust. Once there were the palace guards, a hundred of them. Now a few servants. No one I can trust. Th there will be money to pay you. I've arranged for the sale of a valuable English painting. One of your first tasks will be to deliver it in Calcutta and collect the proceeds. Uh, you may take out your own fee. Why do you trust us and not your own people? You come very highly recommended, Mr. Kelly. <laughs> I'm having my remaining possessions catalogued, so there will be more deliveries. If I realize enough from them, I may leave Raj Mahal. Was well, that all you have in mind for us, sir? To uh, make these deliveries? Oh, no. I had intended to ask you a further favor, but uh, I think not now. Well, there's no harm in asking, Your Highness. I should like you to kill a man. But no matter, your position is not dependent on it. We'll unload the truck. Oh, I, I've, I've had your things put in your room. <laughs> Uh, you'll be well taken care of. I still have servants enough for that. Thank you, sir. Don't you worry about us. Uh, Mr. Smith. Uh, yes. uh, have you no curiosity about the other door? Uh, just a normal amount, Your Highness. Just a coincidence, gentlemen. Lady's not used for the same purpose as the one in your story. She's been a family pet ever since she was a cub. Well, I hope you'll tell her to treat me just like one of the family. She'll doubtless be one of your early deliveries. She's getting a little large for a household pet. I decided to uh, give her to one of your American zoos. Present for the children. The children? Oh, yeah. Any time, sir, only not on that leash. Oh, she has a cage, too. I'll see you at dinner, then.
Oh, Mr. Smith. You look much refreshed. Yeah, I feel fine. Where's Mr. Kelly? Well, I, I thought he was down here with you, but I, I guess he hasn't come down yet. Uh, would you like to take a look at the palace and the grounds? It'll be a while before dinner. Yes, I might do that. And the cigarette's right over there. Help yourself. Oh, thank you. On uh, second thought, Your Highness, uh, I think I'll uh, wait and look around in the daytime. Mr. Kelly should be in uh, down in just a moment. Mm. Perhaps he's out on the terrace. Let's take a look. No, no, I, I'm sure that he just hasn't come down yet, Your Highness. Hope about not delaying things. Yeah. What's the matter with you? Uh, we were just talking of having a little smoke in the garden before dinner. Will you join us? Darling, Kingsley's back. He drove in not five minutes ago. Oh, splendid. <clears throat> I scarcely expected you for another day or so. I couldn't stand it, but so much work to be done here, Your Highness. Oh, heavens, I've smeared you with lipstick. When you've quite finished. I'm sorry. Uh, this is her ladyship's cousin, Kingsley Miller. Mr. Kelly. Mr. Smith. How do you do? Hello. Kingsley is practically a member of the family. I've been out six months now, cataloging His Highness's art collection and jewelry. He's been a great help. We just got here a couple of hours ago ourselves. Funny we didn't meet. Two hours apart and only two miles apart in that jungle alley. Oh, no reflection on your... Highway system, Your Highness. <laughs> it is strange. Are you hunting here? Sir e hired them. Even I don't know why. But it's pleasant to have the company. No secret. Do run an errand. Don't tell me you've sold something again by mail, sir. The tiger. Lady? I told you I was giving Lady to a zoo. She's getting too large for a household pet. I'll be glad to get rid of her. She frightens me. Tubal and I are going to deliver her. Oh? Well, she'll give you no trouble. Tame as a kitten. Well, King, you'd better get changed. Dinner's almost ready. If you'll excuse me, gentlemen. You can trust Kingsley, of course. Your word, sir. You said that... Oh, I meant uh, the servants. So did I. Well, if there's been trouble before, somebody must have gossiped. Uh, what makes you think there's been trouble? Uh, people just don't hire Tim Kelly and me to deliver singing telegrams. Not at our prices. And not that I can't sing. <laughs> One of my palace guards asked to stay with me. And a good man was killed delivering a tapestry. I lost the tapestry. You won't lose your painting, sir. I don't think so either. But uh, Kingsley and my wife must know when it leaves here. When it leaves here will be the time to tell them. Um, shall we? Strength in the cage. We don't want Lady changing places with us on the road. Mr. Kelly, I want to talk to you. Oh, of course, Your Ladyship. Don't call me that. I hate it. I'm not Her Ladyship. I'm not the Maharani. I'm an American like you. Well, you're the Raj's wife, aren't you? All right. I want to hear an American call me Diane again. Can you understand that? Well, I'll call you Diane out here. Please, we can't. I have the feeling that everyone in the palace is watching us. I'm sorry, Your Ladyship. I've got to finish this cage. I want to get an early start tomorrow. Please, the first chance you get. I'll wait. Will you? No. I won't come to your room. We can talk here. Oh, please, I can't. I work for your husband.
Maybe I'm in the wrong room. No. I wanted to see you, Mr. Smith. I wanted to see you alone. I tried to talk to your friend. I can't. I can't get through to him. He's so strange. Cold. Cold? Maybe. Oh, please don't laugh at me. I need your help. Take me with you when you leave. Can't you see I'm practically a prisoner here? Oh, please help me get away. Please help me. I'd like to take you, honey. I'd love company. But have you talked to Kelly? No, I told you I tried, but... Oh, he has no warmth, no sympathy. Me or the Raja? You. Oh, I've been known to stir up a little warmth here and there, your ladyship. But not with the boss's wife. You're gonna get your mouth washed out with soap. By you? Probably you'll want to do it yourself when you listen. I just want you to help me get away. Let me go with you. Well, aren't you happy here? No. Does the Raja know you want to get away? He'd never let me leave. You're right. I'm an unsympathetic character. And I work for the Raja. I think you're working for the Boy Scout medal. Let me be on the truck when you leave. Look, I have money. I have personal things. I'll sell them to pay you. Now, you're not really frightened for your life. I must get away. You want to leave your husband, huh? No, I want to leave Raj Mahal now, tomorrow. I'll pay you. I'm sorry. We only work for one boss at a time. You button your lip. I didn't say anything. That door leads directly into the garden, in case you wish to use it. Yeah. Whoop. Come here. Yeah. Down. That cat been fed lately? And as much as everything's all packed, I thought perhaps uh, you'd like to become better acquainted with her. Well, we'll get along all right. But I think I'll let you put her in the truck. Oh, I'll do that tonight. I am not an early riser. I doubt if I shall be on hand when you leave in the morning. You have the picture and your instructions. The picture's on the truck. I shall not ask where. My wife has a reason to be unhappy, Mr. Kelly. Don't blame her. Above all, do not think of her as merely another a neurotic woman. I hadn't given it any thought, Your Highness. These have been years of disappointment for both of us. But I am not a young man, and this is my home, so it doesn't matter too much to me. She came here with high hopes. When we were married in San Francisco, the life I promised her, the picture I made of it seemed certain of realization. Political disfavor, economic reverses, even our marriage uh, displeased certain persons. I never became a Maharaja, so she couldn't very well become a Maharani as I had promised. Broken promises. Do not blame her. I don't know why you tell us this, sir, but her ladyship seemed very lovely. I doubt that there'll be any further contact. Did she ask you to take her away with you? Yes. As I said before, I am not an early riser. Take her with you. I don't understand. Don't tell her anything except that you will help her. I've often thought of sending her away. Let her think she is leaving me. That will be kinder. They tell me they can't be domesticated. Tigers? Blondes. She won't be happy away from here. Uh, I guess she knows she wants. I mean the tiger. She won't like the zoo.
Are they going to take you? I don't know. I don't think so. Smith would. You should have gone out with me. No. No, I shouldn't have. But you'll meet me in Calcutta. You'll wait there for me, huh? I don't know. I, I don't want to make any plans until I'm away from here. Don't get upset. I don't know whether I'll meet you or not, whether I'll ever want to see you. You'll be able to think things out more clearly once you're away from him and this place. Will I? I was happy. I liked it here before you came. It wasn't my idea. Oh, I know. But I wonder if I'd have gotten as bored or confused if you hadn't come. Well, if they won't take you with them, there's no immediate problem. I'll be through here and gone in a month. They've got to take me. I've got to get away. You'll get away. Then we'll meet in Calcutta. But why are Kelly and Smith here? To take Lady away. Tim Kelly? Tubo Smith? Ah. I know them my reputation. They're a couple of the highest priced professional adventurers in the business. Any two natives with a truck could have delivered that tiger. The Costler. Costler? What's the matter? The Costler portrait. Of course, he sold it. But he's constantly selling something. What? That explains it. That's what they're delivering. I'm surprised he didn't tell me. But if you went along and collected at the other end, it's worth a small fortune. It's the most valuable painting in this lot. Just an idea. to ask you once again, let me go with you. All right. One bag. Pack it and put it on the truck. You changed your mind? You'll help me? We're leaving tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. Pack your bag and put it on the truck tonight. The Raja. His Highness said that he wouldn't be up to say goodbye to us tomorrow. Well, I'll wait on the road. I'd feel safer. All right, but put your things on the truck as soon as he's asleep. Thank you. They must have been here watching me all the time. Yeah. Now I understand where you got those crystal things you're going to sell if I'd help you. You think that I... Of course, what else would you think? I'm sorry. Timothy, we ever get out of this? Give me a side. Give me a little talking to. Not about it! Shouldn't push your boss around like that. Tell the boys where it was. How would I know? 
But you know what it is. Yes. Ikunai! Doimatsu. He's going to shoot Lady. It's in the cage. You watched me put it there. My purse is open. Out of three. It's all my fault if you hadn't stopped. Maybe I misjudged you, but I didn't misjudge your boyfriend. He wasn't afraid of her. Kingsley! wasn't my boyfriend. You had no right to say that. He wanted me and he wanted the picture. But he'd never have gotten either one any other way. You were leaving the Raja. Of course, I brought him nothing but misfortune. I couldn't stand it no longer. Seeing him sell his books and pictures and jewels to keep me happy. And then Kingsley came. Yeah, you better let Kingsley stay dead. That's the man I'd have asked you to kill. You didn't have to, sir. He asked for it himself. Take me home. I want to go home. We'll all go back. I thought it was Kingsley. I saw him leave the palace. The picture. The one that got away had the picture. You think so? You got the frame. That was a bit of genius. That's what we get paid for, Your Highness. 